it's another skills Friday where we learn how to get our skill ready for the game so we ain't out there looking lame. Go gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment to our content. We are here to help you. Turn from cheese to the macaroni and cheese, man. Yeah, Harold, it's another Skills Friday for you guys today. Today we're gonna learn how to jam a receiver. Mostly very important to how to cover in man-to-man -man coverage. Big shout out to Daniel Blake, man. Daniel Blake, he asked me, can I do tips for cornerbacks guarding people? And uh, you gotta know how to jam people, especially if you're doing man-to-man -man coverage when you're guarding someone. So that's just something simple, something that I decided to do. Also, make sure you guys are commenting below what type of videos you'd like to see on this channel. So first and foremost, you gotta understand that your mindset is key when going into jamming a receiver. You have to know, like, there's a possibility I could get beat deep. You have to know that I'm gonna live with this jam. I can't, I can't go out here passively. I can't give a weak jam. So you gotta know that you're going out there ruthless. You're jamming hard. Second, you have to understand where to jam. So you wanna make sure you're jamming in the chest. Chest area, if you can't get to the chest, hit the side of the shoulder pad. And it's very simple. You don't want to make sure you don't want to jam in a helmet because that's that's ineffective. You don't want to jam below the waist. Very ineffective. Don't even want to jam in the stomach. Pointless. So you want to make sure you get to the chest. If you can't get to the chest, get to the side of the shoulder blade. Peace. Check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green or real on that field or extort on that court. The No Baller Left Behind Act supports this video. You feel me?